Welcome back, Wolfpack. Vrelis here, and this is how to use Jinx. So Jinx is all right when you kind of look at it from a sweeper standpoint. That doesn't really need the defenses and offenses as a sweeper. It has a good amount of special attack, but not the best speed. However, you can kind of make that speed work in your favor. You can get Jinx to be a generic kind of typical sweeper for special attack. Problem is, it's outclassed by a lot of other Pokemon. A lot of other Pokemon are just out outright faster and outright hit harder, and they don't take as much to make it work. Jinx is also very limited in that it doesn't have a good amount of defense, so that way, if you get hit by almost anything physical, Jinx is just going to fold like paper, and special defense, even then with your low hit points, kind of makes it hard to endure a solid special attack move. So Jinx does have like a lot of limitations, and then we go and look at its typing. Limitations get even more and more. That Ice Psychic typing sounds really cool, like for Stab, Psychic Stab and Ice, yes please. Weaknesses? No, because you have six weaknesses, and you only have two resistances, so overall, you don't have anything defensive really going for you, and offensively, as I mentioned, you know, there are Pokemon that do your job better as a sweeper. Hopping into Pokemon Showdown, we see the overall nature of Jinx, that you want to run modest, get the, as much special attack out there as you can. 361 special attack isn't bad at all, and with that 95 base speed, you know, with the Scarf, you're going to be very hard to catch, so you're going to at least have a lot of speed. On top of that, Jinx's move pull is pretty solid, that you get a good amount from Ice Beam and Psychic, very awesome stab to have, Ice Beam for the Dragons, Psychic just for an overall huge amount of damage, then overall your coverage is really well too, that you have Energy Ball and Shadow Ball, so you can generally find something to hit super effective, and you're going to be able to maybe get a good solid KO off of it just right off the bat, even though you're Scarf, because you have such a good uh, special attack from the modest nature. Its abilities, Forewarn eh, isn't the greatest, Oblivious, you're not really doing anything that makes it to where, like, if you're Infatuator Taunted, it would bring you down. So I was just going with the Dry Skin ability, Healed by Water, so it's good to at least have that immunity. It's good to kind of see, like, maybe I could switch in Jinx onto a Water-type attack, and then get something out of it. On the other, th under, uh, on the other end of the spectrum, you could run Jinx with Choice Specs, that are essentially the same moveset, but you're going to be Timid instead. So you're not going to be able to outspeed as much, but you're going to have a higher special attack damage from that Choice Specs. So you can kind of look at it from that more offensive standpoint. And other than that, Jinx also has a nasty plot set. This set can be very, very strong as well because, again, we're looking at a very wide amount of coverage. And as long as you outspeed it and set up that nasty plot, you actually have a chance of really doing some damage. So nasty plot's going to double your special attack. Over 600 special attack with that coverage is not bad. Focus Sash is going to keep you alive. And if another Pokemon have more than 317 speed, you kind of can win from there. So overall, Jinx, like I said, is very limited, but it does have a nasty plot set. So if you can catch your opponent off guard and get that going and outspeed them, that's going to be very solid. Other than that, though, you're going to want to Scarf with Modest or Specs with Timid. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how you use Jinx.